The first thing I'm going to do is to try to make this pattern look more like three-dimensional fabric. So I'm going to go up to Filter, then Texture, then Texturizer. And I like to use either sandstone or burlap to get a fabric appearance. And when you're happy with the way that the fabric looks, it'll be on the left of the screen, you can press OK. Now I'm going to select the fabric. And I'll use the keyboard shortcut Control C to copy. And then I'll go over to my template. This is my t-shirt template, which I found on the Second Life website by Chip Midnight, but I simplified it for the tutorial, and I just need to check in the layers palette now. I can see that only the UV layer, the fabric layer, and the cover layer are visible, and I'm going to select the fabric layer. Now I'm back in my template, and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control v to paste my fabric, and I can move it around until it completely covers up the t-shirt. And you can add other details. I have these buttons ready, so I'm going to select them, Control c go back to my template, Control v to paste, and then I can just move them until they're about where I want them. Then I'll go to File, Save As, and for the file type, I'm going to choose Targa, and click Save. And for the re resolution, I'm going to pick 32 bits, and then we can go into Second Life. And now in Second Life, I'm going to preview my image by going to File, Upload Image, and you don't have to pay the 10 lindens until you accept. Now I'm going to find a copy of my shirt and open it. And I can preview my shirt like this, flat, or I can go down to Female Upper Body if I want to preview the shirt on a mannequin and uploading costs 10 lindens. I'm in the appearance window now, and I'm just going to make sure I'm in shirt and double click fabric. And I found the shirt and I'll just select it. And I can modify things, or if I like it, I can click save as to save my shirt. So here's my avatar with her brand new shirt, and that's it.